to have really any success on the SAT, this is the kind of thing that you need to be able to get right quickly and confidently. It's function notation, but that's that's just a clear instruction about where to put certain numbers in an equation. Here, they're being even more generous than usual. They're telling us that x is equal to negative 8. So we just know put negative 8 in for x. So I would do this in my head, but three negative 3 times negative 8 plus 60 is really what we're doing here. So negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24 plus 60 is 84. That's the whole thing. Now, the uh, one of the things that people kind of struggle with when they're first learning function notation is how do we make sense of this f of x because you learn that letters are variables, that they're, they represent numbers, you, you kind of get confused because at first, function notation looks like we're multiplying this letter F by this letter X, but that's not what it is. The X is a variable. The F is a name. It's the name of the equation. They've just made it up for this particular problem. And then it's an instruction that when they say something like, what is F of negative 8, they are telling us to put negative 8 in for the x's in the normal part of the equation, and we're gonna get a y value out, basically. So hopefully that all makes sense. That's the kind of thing to go back to like Khan Academy or just ask your math teacher in school if you need help with function notation, because that's very fundamental. And of course the SAT is gonna find ways to, to make it harder, but that is not happening here. This is as basic as function notation comes.